Hello and welcome to MIT USA. My name is Leo Valerio. We're going to introduce you to our basic planisher. This is a planisher where you are able to um, do 36 inches of travel. It can be made to whatever length the customer requires. We uh, have a mandrel support here that is air activated. The purpose of this is to give us a little area where we can come in with the part to be able to load it into the planisher. We also are able to remove this so that we have more space to be able to load larger diameter parts. We have some slides of, of 1 16 thick um, sheet, sheeting that uh, customers can pretty much make to their own fit because they can move them anywhere within the length of the planisher. They can bend them. To, the purpose of that is to be able to support the tube um, depending on the diameter of the tube. We also have a um, travel limit to be able to determine where we want to um, stop the carriage. The carriage goes forward and also reverse. All of these are manual operations on our basic unit. You can do the, the roll to come down, go back up. Uh, the mandrel support is also adjustable should you be doing shorter parts where you need to apply a lot of force. You can also minimize the length of, of this support, the, pers the position of the support. This can also be set up with an HMI control where all, all of these operations are automatic where the operator just keeps hitting start and it goes through the whole sequence. But this is the basic unit. Okay, so now I placed a 1 8 inch thick uh, stainless steel tube in here. This is a 15 inches diameter. The machine goes up to 16 inches in diameter. You can see that now it's resting against those steel um, inserts that we put on the side basically just to keep it from wobbling and dancing and um, now what I'll do is I'll activate my mandrel support and now that I activated it my roller now is in position I've already adjusted our wheel to the, to control the travel how far I want the wheel uh, to advance down for the pressure onto the material so now that I've activated that I also activate the wheel down and now I go forward. The speed of travel right now is at 150 inches per minute. And uh, now I can go ahead and release the part and go ahead and remove the, the support. And now I can remove the part from the planisher. So now we're going to address planishing small diameter tubes. In order to, to planish a small diameter tube, you actually need to support the inside of the tube as well because you're going to be resting it against this B groove. Therefore, you put the tube into the mandrel. you center it to your wheel, you see there's a little bit of space and what it's actually going to do is it's going to compress it a little bit. You can see that it's compressing a little bit but it springs right back. you can see that it's all planished real nicely and the tube springs right back so there's no damage to the tube. Of course you want to make the mandrel as close to the ID as possible to, to minimize the amount of compression. And that concludes it.